<laughs> Panda, can you do the Patrick scream when uh, Patrick gets a trumpet stuck in his neck? <laughs> no, I can't. No, Astro. Uh, how does it sound? <laughs> I don't. I, I, it's why I'm asking. <laughs> do it again, Panda. I'll just mimic what a panda did. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't go. Yo! Patrick just sees his friend down the street. It's Yo! really hard. Okay, no, look it up. Look it up right. Yo, no, dude. look it up right now. It's it's. Oh my god, the fucking partner <laughs> just went by. <laughs> Do I swear to god, we start the podcast and it, he immediately shows up. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sleep the Pride Podcast. Yeah. Episode oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I could try. Uh, I'm going to try this, okay. Patrick. Give it a try. I don't Give remember it what it's like. It was better than Panda. Shut up, man. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I'll, Yo, what's up, guys? It's Patrick here. I'll give it a try. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't ever want to hear that. Again. That's some shit you'd hear if you're like walking alone in a forest. Yeah, in a forest. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, well, alright, alright, I, right, I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it. Listen, listen, listen. I thought you picked it up. Well, thank God we can hear the gardener. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! It's it's not playing for me. Someone else, someone else, play it in the microphone. Okay, I'll I'll I'll, pick, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. Did you guys yeah, Did you guys hear that? No. 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 Okay, here here we go. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> no. No. Did it work? No. Right. Hold on. Try, let's try this. Let's try this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard okay, it. Yeah, 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 uh, honestly, I think a panda's yo was the closest. Dude, leave me alone. I sound like I sound like Jesse Pinkman. Jesse yo. Pinkman. Yo, bitch. Yo, bitch. Yo, what's up, Mister White? When when you really think about it, SpongeBob mm -hmm. had some of the best fucking episodes ever, and there's so many of them too. Timeless yeah, they, classics. They really did. You guys have any favorites? I like uh, when SpongeBob becomes a housewife and has to care for the clam. Oh my god, dude, that episode's so fucking funny. <laughs> that episode is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Patrick's, Patrick's so just funny. Give a shit. Oh, I was working overtime, and then SpongeBob's like, <laughs> overtime. <laughs> <laughs> that one was pretty good. My favorite episode is the the pizza one. Like, oh, of course. Yeah. Of like, course. That, oh. that one's like one of the best episodes ever, because it yeah, has yeah, so yeah, many yeah, iconic yeah, moments, yeah, but also yeah, seeing, yeah, seeing yeah, Squidward yeah, throw the pizza yeah, at that yeah, guy. Yeah, oh my fucking yeah, god, yeah, shut yeah, up. Yeah. Shut up! Pizza! Seeing, shut up! Seeing, seeing Squidward <laughs> throw the pizza at that asshole was so satisfying. Especially because he's yeah, always because yeah. he's always an asshole to SpongeBob. It's like the one yeah. time he was nice to him. Yeah, no, that was super gratifying, and like it really uh, highlighted the uh, the subtle dynamic between their relationships. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of there. Video essay. <laughs> it was some Squidward character development. Exactly. Yeah. I, I think my favorite episode is the one where they get stranded in like this uh, kelp forest, and then they f they have oh, a magic yeah. conch. Oh, the magic yeah. conch! Yeah, the conch is awesome. Yeah, and then it just gets revealed that they're just right next to their house anyway. <laughs> that was actually Dude, so that's literally funny, yeah. the that's literally the pizza episode. They were right next to the Krusty Krab at the end. I actually love that trope so much, dude. Sometimes I I I, I pretend I have like a magic conch that talks to me. And I like ask it questions what? and like, <laughs> yeah, I ask I it questions and like I make life decisions based on what the conch says to me in Dude, my I head. Think that's you, the same, you, man. you have a, you have a seashell that you, you listen to? Yeah, I listen to it for everything. How old are you? <laughs> I'm not gonna, <laughs> what, Moist, cut that out. <laughs> Moist, keep it in. Moist, cut that out. All in favor, keeping it in, say aye. Aye. So I mean, are you a child? Are you like? Are you no, I no, I just I I believe in the power it's a of the con. Childlike thing to yeah. What to are you do. a fucking baby? No, yeah, Would yes. You, well, if I took you out to dinner in like a nice restaurant and I had a big old plate, big old plate of placenta, 
Would you eat Ew, a slow bad boy? What the fuck are you that talking about? Went why places why I was not expecting. My favorite episode all. is SpongeBob. <laughs> 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 you guys remember the one where um, SpongeBob takes a bodyguard around, but really the bodyguard is trying to like beat the shit out of SpongeBob? No, I do not remember that. You don't, actually, wait, the, you don't, don't remember the don't ta- remember the, the Tattletale Strangler? Oh, that guy with with the with, with the, the mustache. mustache. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That one, that one was so. And he's good. always trying to get. Finally, I've got you right <laughs> where I want you. <laughs> you oh yeah, uh, yeah. I remember that one. one. He that just one can't. He just good. can't get SpongeBob away from everyone. Dude, who are the most iconic SpongeBob villains? Like one of them has to be that oh, guy. The monkey. The mon- oh, the like monkey. the monkey suit? In the Christmas episode that splits him in half. Oh, yeah. true. Oh, yeah. yeah that that one's hooks. pretty iconic. The hooks. Uh, oh, the hooks. hooks! Yep. Yep. Dude, the hooks. Bob, 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 Bob. Obviously. The hash slinging slasher. Classic. Uh, Classic. Bubble Bass. She's kind of a villain. I was about to say Bubble Bass, yeah. Well, what I, about I, the dirty bubble? Oh, oh, oh no, shit. The, that one is good. That there one are is actual really villains good. that we're forgetting about. Yeah, there are actual <laughs> Man Ray, Man Ray. I love Man oh Ray. My God. You, you know that one clip where he's got the wallet and he's like, this is, is this is your wallet. And then Patrick's like, yes. And it has your ID in it. Yes. So that makes it your wallet. No. What about Plankton? Oh my God, oh, he was right how did there. Are we forgetting about the... The quintessential SpongeBob villain, Plankton. There's this one thing Plankton says that I really liked. He was trying to get like a bunch of a bunch of evil guys to be friends with him, and he's like, "Felicitations, malefactors! I am endeavoring to misappropriate the formula for preparation of affordable comestibles. Who will join me?" What the fuck are you talking about? That actually sounded like an alien language. <laughs> no, dude. He says no, that. that that sounded like you just go on Reddit. <laughs> Yeah, I just use big words. I just use big words to sound smart. I mean, to be honest, that was like super impressive that you even said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. I, honestly. Yeah, but that big, that's big some props. that's some imitation crabs shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the robot one? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, there's so much, so many iconic. That's oh, crazy. The there sea was... bear. Remember the the thing you got to draw oh a circle for? Oh my yes. god! Yes, yes, yeah. dude. Whoa. I love the camping episode so much, dude. Mm-hmm. It's so funny how like they're just they're behind they're beside their houses the whole time and like at any point Squidward could just go into his house and be safe but he like chooses to rough it yeah. out. <laughs> like the comedy in that is so funny to me. Masochist. Yeah. Oh, what about Rock Bottom? Oh, oh that's a yes. Ooh. What a, about Rock Bottom? I I never really understood the the ending of that episode. Where the guy blows up the balloon for SpongeBob, and uh, <laughs> SpongeBob goes, "Thank you," and then the dude goes, "You're welcome." <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I> could... <laughs> you remember that? Like he just he just did not do the accent that they've been doing the whole <laughs> they episode. Were just, they were fucking with him. <laughs> it kind of implies, yeah, that like Rock Bottom is like a it's like a society of people that just like to like mess with the people from from the top side or whatever yeah society of trolls we can, society like we of trolls. This a little it's, too much it's 4chan <laughs> <laughs> i mean we can all agree 4chan is rock bottom <laughs> what's that one thing that Py- that pyro says all the time kino that's cl- n- yeah <laughs> thank you kino for coming kino <laughs> <laughs> new friend no, you know one episode I didn't get. I don't know if you guys know this one because it's I, I barely see it talked about, but it's the one where like the, the entirety of Bikini Bottom leaves, and it's only SpongeBob. And then they see he sees Patrick at the end, and he's like, "We just don't want to be around you today. Like we want." Oh one my one. god! Do you guys remember that? <laughs> no, you don't, dude. They they all leave SpongeBob, and they're like, "We want a day <laughs> away from you." I'm not kidding, and I never understood it because it's like, oh my what the god, fuck? that sounds like I am up. Legend or something. <laughs> there were some scary episodes like i don't know about you guys but for some reason the one where uh where they think they go to space but then the rocket just crashes back in bikini bottom and they're like they're like Ooh. capturing people in the net like that genuinely yeah, like unsettled me. acts of terrorism yeah that unset- <laughs> yeah that was like so unsettling to me 
Yeah, so Morbius is back in theaters, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. How, how do we how do we feel about that? It's actually crazy they brought it back because everyone kept talking about how much the movie sucked. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> now we're talking about it. Yeah, yeah. it's working. Now we're talking and, about and Morbius. No one's go no one's gonna go see it again. <laughs> and then it's gonna get taken out of theaters. And we're all gonna joke about it. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious. You want to see it now? I might actually see it now. I might. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I haven't watched it. I might want to get more. All right. <laughs> it, it's Morbin time. It's Morbin. <laughs> Dude, if he says if they, they should do an edit of it and add that in. Dude, then I would go. <laughs> <laughs> if they dubbed it in. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Jared. his lips aren't even matching. Oh, that, that's one hundred percent. What, mark my words, there's going to be a Morbius sequel where they will 100% say it's Morbin time. Like, as like, like an... Yeah, did you no. see? Did you see Jared Leto's tweet literally yesterday? No, what was it? Was it? A, it, it was like he was sitting on a couch and the, the camera, cameraman comes up to him and he's like, what are you reading? And he's like, no, no, it's nothing, it's nothing. And he kind of hides the paper. The cameraman takes the paper, shows it to the camera, and, it, and it's literally a fake script for Morbius 2, It's Morbin Time. <laughs> oh my god. There's something aware Even about it. Literally Morbius uh. himself. Oh my god. Wait, wasn't Jared Leto the really shitty Joker? Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, how the fuck did he, he get another like, role? I don't know how anyone likes him at all. He's like, had an island cult of like 16 yeah, year old white girls. He's really, he's really weird and bizarre. I'm pretty sure we've talked about him before, and like we've we've said that uh, when he was like getting really into the role of Joker and like method acting, <laughs> yeah. he would like yeah he would send them like dead rats and and stuff to their like trailers. Yeah. Man, method acting is so funny. It's there's, there's no <laughs> proof that it really works that much better, but it's just an excuse for actors like send pipe bombs to the cast <laughs> member. Yeah, uh, I'm, pl I'm practicing for my new for my new character, the comer. <laughs> <laughs> Your core. I was method acting. I was I was practicing for my upcoming role. I was just on a Minecraft roleplay server, guys. It's not that deep. Do you guys know a word that really ticks me off? What? what? Or like, I don't even know. It's like cummies. <laughs> oh, How often what? do you hear the word cummies? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I I've, 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 I live around normal people in normal circles, and wait, wait, I haven't wait, heard wait, the I, word I, cummies yeah. in years. I've have you never heard someone say it? Yeah. You've never. Wait, 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 wait. You've never heard I've anyone read say it. that. I've, 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 I've of course read it, but I've never, I've never seen someone actually say it. Like you're yeah, not walking yeah, but, to the grocery store. But you, someone's you like, read oh, cummies. It, you read it, so you still heard about it. I, I know it exists. I just people aren't saying it. Well, I'm just saying I hate it. Who's saying it around you? Like no, no, no one, no one says it to me. Like a real person doesn't walk up to me. And Do say you it. say it? No. <laughs> so where are you seeing it? I don't know. I just know it's in my head because I've seen it around, and I really don't like it. I think you just need to admit you do like it. No. So what do you guys think is going to end the human race? A nuke or... Yeah, probably a nuke. Honestly, yeah, probably a nuke. Do you really think so? I think I'll, I'll a virus. Good. Yeah, it's not bad. I think a climate virus. Climate disaster. Yeah, climate no, disaster. well, no one... No, come on now. Yeah, yeah, climate disaster. That's, but we might not that's make it never, that long. That's never going to happen. <laughs> There's never going to be a climate disaster? <laughs> I think we're already in No. One. What are you talking about? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He's, he's living in Austin, Texas. Don't tell him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, just be... Just shh. What? <laughs> it's going to be okay, man. Yeah, you're... We're you're, just... We're just we're what are you talking about? You have, a, you have a good time. Have a good time, man. There's no climate disaster. It'll be fine. Just um, maybe uh. Wait, hey, what do you wait? I'm genuinely confused. No, no, no. You should buy uh, you should buy stocks and water. Are we having a climate way. disaster? Are you, I'm, all we're saying we is, are. all we're you know, saying so is, I, get a backup talk generator. To koalas. I don't think we're. Ha I don't think it'll happen. All right. Oh, well, what's pretty, your? It's it's pretty nice out today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little warm. No. What what is what is this? Propaganda you're trying to for I don't I don't I genuinely don't understand what's going on. You, you think the earth water. is gonna you think the entire earth is gonna be wiped out to climate disaster? Yeah. What like it gets like it gets a couple degrees 
<laughs> but, it's but, hotter but, and then everyone everyone melts. Sure, that's it. That's all. That's all it really needs, though. All it needs is like we just six need degrees. a couple degrees. Yeah, just just like a six, and we're fucked. Six degree, and then what? And then we'll, we'll, well drown. Yeah, famine. so and fa- famine and the, the yeah famine. so. Yeah, because yeah. six all degrees the, well, probably is not in the U.S. Well, because the the, the ecosystems are gonna collapse because a lot of the important plants are gonna die. The, <laughs> I the, live in a <laughs> suburb. What are no. you talking about? <laughs> no, he's living like Squidward. Dude. <laughs> yeah. He's living Squidward. in Squidner. I live in Squidville. Like Squidward community. Squidville. <laughs> Squ- Squidward's gated community. <laughs> yeah. Look, Schlatt, you have capital. You know, just buy stocks and water. You know. Nestle's gonna do okay. It'll be great for you. So what's gonna happen? What happens if it gets a couple degrees? What is the ecosystems are you so, talking about? An, an ecosystem <laughs> is like a. It, you can think of it as a web where all the <laughs> organisms are connected and rely on each other to function. And if, if one of I the... had an organism last night preparing <laughs> for the comer. <laughs> My role is the comer. It's it's coming time. (laughs) No, that's what scientists say before they know. It's coming. (laughs) What? (laughs) Organism. I'm I'm gonna organism. What? What? I'm gonna organism. Oh man. (laughs) But so, if if one of these key species dies because it's you know the climate but, Megan, is no one cares they're like 16 okay they're gonna grow up and they're gonna vote for like donald trump jr let's just move on i don't understand i don't understand this climate disaster bullshit oh okay, it's gonna be okay we'll, for you. we'll move on just just uh, i can go down the street and and my supermarket is always stocked <laughs> Schlatt, do you think do you think you'd be able to afford a spot on like like humanity's arc like you know how in all those disaster movies there's like there's like a couple of boats for rich people and they can just float away but everyone else has to just like <laughs> i probably could <laughs> oh you know that, there's a movie that came out recently it was like about the end of the world with leonardo dicaprio did anyone see that no it's, no. it's about like this large there's a large crater coming down to earth i don't care hit them okay well, the scientists <laughs> I kind of care. I'm kind of interested. Well, basically, at the end of the movie, the rich people get in a rocket. I don't and care. And they travel. They they get frozen and they travel off. What? What? And, spoilers! Uh, what the hell, man? Yeah, and so then they land on a on a distant planet, and the second they come out, they just all get eaten by like aliens. <laughs> Is that really how it ends? They just go to another planet and die. <laughs> yeah. Does so, does spoiler alert? Does Earth blow up from an uh, asteroid? Yeah. So everyone dies. Well, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, everyone dies. What if I bought a ticket, or like a like a like a entry into some bunker for rich people? What if I did that, and then I go and like document the whole thing? <laughs> yeah, you should vlog it. I love the concept of a bunker because, like, I, if a nuke goes off and we're all dying, I don't want to be alive. Why would I want to be like in a bunker eating canned beans, <laughs> just knowing that everything's like fucked up there? Um, well, yeah, well actually, I mean, at least you'll have an ecosystem down there. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the, the, ecosystem. the, the nuclear radiation drugs. actually um, has a half-life that decreases exponentially. So actually, by the time the nuclear fallout has all cleared, um, it should be safe to go up there and live there for a while. It's common time. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to organism. Nah, Schlatt, you should you should totally do that. Like, uh, get a get a ticket to a rich person's bunker and like, island maybe yeah and like just document oh, yeah. it because i i think like a lot of people would actually be curious to see what it's like inside of there dude i feel like the problem is that it's not just going to be for rich people it's going to be main they're going to prioritize well-connected people it's probably just invite only anyways yeah like true you could Clintons. you could have i mean there's some nice houses where where close by where I live and you you always wonder like who who lives there how are there this many people who are that successful but then you realize it's like well half these people they, they no one has any idea who they are like do you think they're letting you think they're letting some COO at a toilet paper company fucking <laughs> in the bunker no 
I'm just imagining you sitting next to Hillary Clinton. Dude, after yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> dude could be worse. Yeah, I mean, like they probably, they probably like they check if you're on the flight logs, and then they're then they're like, oh well, all right, we know you. Come on in. But you don't this think that you're, ma- <laughs> you're making small talk? So what did you do uh, out there? Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, a CEO of a real estate suck. company. I had a podcast. <laughs> I had a podcast. <laughs> I was a podcaster. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't and think Hillary, they would want to? Hillary, a... like, she reaches into her pocket. She pulls out that <laughs> f- childhood photo. <laughs> and she's like, this this is the face of the next president. <laughs> Dude, that shit was so funny. I bet she'd spit in a cup for you. Oh, yeah. Hillary, give me some give me some of that globule gunk. Yeah. Miko, what were you saying? I, I, I kind of interrupted. Oh, uh, it's okay. I was I was just gonna ask, like, you don't think they would want a COO of a toilet paper company in the bunker? Because like, you're gonna need toilet paper eventually. I'm like, yeah, you think he knows how to make the toilet paper? He doesn't know how to make the toilet paper. <laughs> he just knows how to. He just knows how to keep his <laughs> seven people who report to him in check. He no, but like, fingers. But he he knows like it's probably like a family secret passed down generation to generation. Like here's how what you make three ply. Here, here's you how think, you make dude? four ply. Here's like how you get like an extra soft texture. And he know? probably really cares about the business and all the good it's doing. <laughs> you're a liberal, Mika. You're a little. You're a little liberal. Hey, no. do we have any messages from the patrons I, this time? Around? I actually, I actually took a political compass test. I'll just say this: I'm pretty sure I'm like more left leaning and libertarian than you. Than who? You. Than me? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I think I'm more. Compass. I think I'm more left leaning than Astro yeah. too. <laughs> I'm actually a, a right wing psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read the Patreon comments. <laughs> You know, for a Patreon goal, for like 20 million patrons, we should all do a, a, a political test. I'm actually right. down. Some of these are, uh, this comes from Andrew Longacre. Some of these are dumb, and I want to give you something meaningful and good to say. You'll be saying the first two lines from Industrial Society and Its Future. <laughs> the Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race. They have greatly increased the life expectancy of those of us who live in advanced countries, but they have destabilized society, have made life unfulfilling, have subjected human beings to indignities, have led to widespread <laughs> psychological suffering. Wait, in the you third, know what you're the you know- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what am I reading? <laughs> you're reading Ted Kaczynski's manifesto. <laughs> oh shit. Well, okay, thanks yeah. for that, Andrew. Guys, you know, we have a Patreon, <laughs> patreon.com slash sleep deprived. I didn't tiers know is, that. One of the tiers is you can get us to say whatever you want, really. Um, except, except if it's stupid, we're not. We're not going to do it if it's stupid. Yeah, Wait, no, is Ted was Kaczynski the guy who plays Jim on The Office? No. <laughs> no, it was Ted the Bear. Kyle chimes in with, hey, guys, been really enjoying the podcast. Keep it up. You paid a lot of money for, for just that. <laughs> that's great that's ex boogaloo says baba booey if i get everyone to say it the podcast will instantly end right well we all have to say it do we have any more comments we do yeah logan gordy says uh stream alex unknown thanks Based. logan stream my like boy and finally Based. finally ebay hacker says if you all had to do a boxing event with only you four who would you want to fight I'd fight you, Astro. Well, you would win. So I would not pick you. Um, I'd fight you, Astro. <laughs> you would also win. Actually, I win? win? Maybe even easier. Yeah, you would win. You think I'd win? I'm like 145 pounds. Oh. I'm like tiny. I have like 100 pounds on you. I'll fight anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A, a panda, you're saying, I might be able to be a panda. Oh, I don't know a about panda, that. I'll fight you. Bro, I don't know about that. Yeah, that's true. You used to work out. I'm a, I'm a I just bull. Know you're shorter. I'm a stallion. I think, uh, I think honestly, I think I would yeah. fight Ted Nevison if if I had to pick a uh, in, in a wrong wrong podcast equal... for that wrong podcast. Oh shit! Right, fuck that one ended. <laughs> oh fuck. no! Uh, before we do the old Baba Booey, should we uh, pay our respects to Chuckle Sandwich in your honor? Or... No, no. Oh, okay, okay. We, we don't no. have to talk about it. We we don't gotta. 
No. We, we won't go there. We won't go there. <laughs> it's going to be okay. It, it's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, end it. End it. It's Bob Booey. Bob Booey. It only ends when I say it too. Oh, no. As, a, as an empath, I kind of feel for him. <laughs> it's going to be okay, man. Can you stop crying? This is really messing with my crown chakra. Guys, if you subscribe to the podcast on patreon.com slash sleep deprived, you'll hear the next 30 minutes that, that we're going to record. Um, you'll get access to, to any of it. It'll just be me crying, though. But there is a there is a podcast after the show. The show doubles in length. And uh, you can you can get it on patreon.com slash sleep deprived. Bye. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Baba Booey.